assalamu alaikum friends my name is mohammed yunus and i am odoo technical developer in today's video we are going to talk about how to install odoo 17 on ubuntu 20.04 and configure odoo with pycharm for development so uh, there are two ways to install odoo one is for uh, production purposes or and the one is for development purposes so both have different steps so in this video we are going to talk only about uh, how to set up Odoo for development purpose we will uh, make another video on how to set up for uh, production purpose the first step is uh, to install a git and uh, to install pip so first of all we will have to uh, open the um, terminal which is uh, this one so here first of all we will have to uh, execute the update command which is uh, sudo apt update and then second command for the update is sudo apt upgrade uh, so first of all let me just run these both uh, commands sudo apt upgrade okay so it will update uh, the system with the latest uh, updates and then we need to install git so why do we need to install git uh, for because odoo is odoo source code is available on git and we need to use the git command to download the odoo source code so therefore we need to, uh, to install uh, git and uh, the second thing is uh, to install pip uh, so why do we need pip so we need to install pip because uh, pip is needed to uh, install python packages uh, so in order to install git we need to use a command sudo uh, apt install git so this will install git for us uh, hit y so uh, this will just first download the pip uh, uh, sorry git and then it will uh, get installed automatically so the next thing is uh, to install pip so is like for Udo 17 the Udo like a python requirement is uh, 33.10 uh, and for the older version uh, the requirements were like 3.7 so uh, in this case there might be a chance that uh, you have already installed old uh, python version like 3.7 or 3.8 or 3.6 and you have the old uh, odoo version so you don't want to disturb those uh, versions and uh, you want to install uh, odoo 17 so in that case you need a python 3.10 separately so i have already uh, recorded a video on that topic and uh, i will uh, like post the link of that video somewhere in this uh, screen so just check out that video uh, before going in this uh, so here we will just uh, install a pip like uh, for python 3.10 first of all you need to check if uh, pip is installed uh, and if uh, pip is not installed uh, in your case uh, you can just install it just by simple uh, using one command so let me check uh, the pip version so the command is uh, python 3.10 dash m pip uh, then double dash version okay so this is the command to check if pip is installed for python 3.0 or not so okay so we do uh, we have write it py so this is it so pip is installed for python 3.10 Okay, so if you don't know how to install pip for uh, Python version 3.10, you need to check out the video uh, like where I have already explained how to maintain two different versions of Python. But uh, if you have only version one version of Python, you have just a simple command uh, sudo a, like sudo uh, apt install python 3 pip. Okay, so uh, let me execute a command like run to clear uh, to clear this uh, all these commands so the next thing is to install postgres uh, so for this purpose we need to execute a command sudo apt apt install postgres ql postgres ql client okay so it enters uh, so you will have to uh, first download this and then um, the installation will get started so is it is uh, 122 mbs so it will take just a few minutes to install it so uh, after the installation is completed we will have to create uh, a user for the database and then uh, we will have to update uh, the password for the database 
Okay, so you can see that uh, the installation is almost complete. So uh, here we need to uh, create a user for the database uh, because Odoo uh, does not work with the Postgres uh, default user. So do uh, su dash Postgres dash c and here we need to use create user dash s. So here we need to add the username. In this case, it is um, I want to make it like a user with the name Odoo 17. So you can add any name that you want. Um, hit enter, and then we need to update um, the password. So for this purpose, we need to add a command. So first we need to switch the Postgres user, uh, and then we need to execute a command to open the uh, like command line for the Postgres. So here we need to execute uh, this command. So let me just copy and paste uh, the command uh, don't worry about the commands because i will uh, write each and every step and i will share the link with you guys so here uh, let me tell, uh, explain what the command is doing so alter role like udo 17 is the username that we have already created here and with the password so here you can add any password uh, so right now like i just want to add a username with the name with the password udo 17 because this is for development purposes so for the production purpose you need to add some strong password so the password has been updated uh, you can just control add control c and then exit and then exit again so postgres has been um, installed and the user has been created so uh, and after that we need to uh, create a directory for Odoo. So let me just open the home directory. Here uh, I will add a new folder with the name Odoo. And inside the Odoo uh, I will open the terminal. So here we need to pull uh, like download the Odoo source code. So in order to download the Odoo source code, um, we need to use this command. I will explain the purpose uh, like the each part of the command. Okay, sorry, make it. So uh, here this command is uh, will download the Udo from here like from branch 17 and it will create a new uh, directory with the name 17. So uh, here you can see that the download is almost completed. So uh, the next step is uh, to like to uh, move to the Udo directory and then uh, run a command to install all the Python dependencies. So let's just run a command like ls to see what's inside this Udo directory. So this is the Udo um, community uh, directory which contains all the add-ons and all the configuration related to Udo. So we need to move to Udo 17 and then uh, hit the command ls which will show you all the configuration and uh, all the add-ons uh, and the whole source code of the Udo. So, um, so we have two different Python versions, which is uh, 3.8 and 3.10. So in this case, uh, like we are using Odoo 17, so we need to create a virtual environment for Odoo, uh, like Python 3.10. Uh, and then we need to install all the Python dependencies using uh, that 3.10 uh, virtual environment. So for this purpose, first of all, we need to install Python 3.10 uh, virtual environment. sudo apt install python. 3.10 uh, virtual environment uh, so this will help us to install uh, the virtual environment for python 3.10 so keep in mind that you uh, should ha have inside the udo 17 directory so that uh, it's create a virtual environment inside the udo 17 directory because this virtual environment is specific to uh, udo 17 uh, now we can just create a uh, virtual environment with uh, using the command 3.10 dash m virtual environment and then virtual environment uh, env okay so hit enter so um, it will create a virtual environment for us using uh, python 3.10 so now we can um, activate this uh, virtual environment using uh, just a simple command which is uh, source virtual environment and then bin and then activate so uh let me just remove this command and let me show you what's inside this uh virtual environment so if we remove this and 
run the command ls so uh, here we have created a command with the name uh, virtual environment so if we go inside virtual environment and hit uh, run ls so here you can see bin folder and then if you go inside bin so here you will see activate so we need to execute this command uh, like from Odoo 17 so here you need to add this so uh, you can see the virtual com virtual environment has been activated so uh, now we can use uh, the command for installing the uh, python dependencies so first of all we need to install some of the packages so uh, these are the packages that are needed so let me just execute it here uh, so yes so this will download all these packages and it will get installed automatically so uh, it will just take a few minutes so uh, the installation is almost complete okay so this step is completed so the command that we need to use is python 3.10 uh, dish m pip uh, install dish r requirements dot txt okay hit enter so it will install all these python dependencies uh, for python 3.10 uh, using pip uh, so uh, after that we will be able to um, run Udo using the command line so i will show you how you can run it using the command line and then i will um, show you how you can configure it with uh, py charm so uh, the installation of python dependencies is complete and um, i will i will tell you one point here that uh, first time i got an error message uh, when i was trying to install uh, these uh, python requirements for kudu so this was the error message that i got um, so how i resolve this problem so uh, if you don't know what the solution is uh, what you need to do is to uh, get help from the internet so internet is the best teacher in the world um, what i did i uh, did copy this message from uh, this terminal and then um, open my browser and let me show you so this is my browser uh, and here i uh, added that uh, i am getting the following error in while installing order requirements.txt file and I pasted the error message here and hit enter. So ChatGPT suggested me solution that uh, this might be because of this problem. And uh, the solution that uh, suggested by ChatGPT is uh, to install Python dev for uh, 3.10. So when I uh, executed this command and uh, installed this Python 3.10 dev, uh, and after that i uh, i retried to install um, all the requirements uh, that were mentioned in requirements.txt file and it uh, succeeded this time so this is uh, so the best thing is uh, you need to know is uh, that no one can help you uh, better than uh, internet so internet is the best teacher the best uh, trainer um, so you can get a uh, guidance from internet so uh, we have completed the installation of uh, Udo. The next step is to create the Udo config file. So in order to do so, we need to go to the home directory, then Udo, then Udo 17, and then a Debian. So inside the Debian, we will see Udo.conf file. So open this .conf file and edit it. So here under the tp user, we need to add Udo 17. This is the username that we have added uh, for the database through uh, the commands and the password that we updated is Udo 17 here you need to add the addons path which is addons and rest will remain the same so just save this file so after saving the file go to the terminal so on, on the terminal add a command python 3.10 we need to mention the python versions here because we are using multiple python versions uh, so here you need to add uh, python and then uh, Udo bin file and then this uh, d so uh, c c means like the configuration file so configuration file is inside debian and uh, here the name of the configuration file is udo.conf then d then udo 17 db udo 17 db is the database name so if we execute this command it will create a database with the udo 17 uh, so let me hit enter to uh, execute this command 
So in order to resolve this issue, we need to uh, make a change inside the uh, Postgres configuration file. So uh, for this purpose, first of all, we need to find the location of the configuration file. Uh, it is something like uh, pghda.conf. Okay, so here is the configuration file. We need to copy it. And then uh, sudo nano paste the path to the configuration file. So here, um, at the bottom you will see this uh, configuration so here we need to change this to trust and then save it okay so uh, uh sudo we need to restart postgres service sudo uh, etc init dot t postgres uh, restart okay so uh, postgres has been restarted and then uh, we need to execute the run command to uh, run Udo. Okay, so you can see that um, database started creating and Udo is running on uh, uh, 8609. So let me open the browser and in the browser we need to uh, enter the URL localhost. Uh, this uh, it is 69 hit enter so uh let me check so the database is uh, started creating and uh it is uh, creating with the demo database so let's just wait for uh, it to clear the database so the database has been created and uh, let me try to log in with admin username and password so this is it you can see over 17 running and we have logged into Ubuntu 17. Okay, you can see the logs. So here it is. We can install our first module, which is sales. So let me install the Ubuntu sales module. And after installation of the module, we will see all the menus and data related to the sales module. So uh, this is it for this video. In the next video, we will. Uh, set up this uh, Udo environment for development and we will configure it with pycharm so if you enjoyed this video please uh, give it a huge thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel uh, thank you